Hello everybody, you got Mark coming to you this evening on the Garage Guy channel. This is December 17th, 2017, uh, Sunday evening. I just watched a heck of a ball game, Pittsburgh and New England. <laughs> Man, they had it, I gotta tell you. Probably the most entertaining NFL game I've seen all season so far. What we're looking at right here... I've recently purchased a couple of uh, Taurus PT709 Slims. And even though in the videos I did about these firearms, I said I wouldn't be using them for concealed carry. I have another purpose in mind for them. You can never say never. One day I just might get up and think, well, maybe I'll carry the 709. And I figure, well, I need a good holster for it. If uh, you've seen any of my videos I've done here recently, you'll know that I am a big fan of the Ceviche Arms leather holsters inside the waistband. And right here I have two of them, one for my Smith & Wesson M&P Shield and the other one for my Taurus G2 PT111 Millennium. Each holster is tailor-made to the specific model of the firearm. Now, a lot of people, you know, would say, well, Mark, why didn't you just use the holster that you have for your shield for the 709? Well, I'm one of those people, I like to have a certain accessory to match a certain firearm. You know, I'm not one that'll double up on things like that. That's just the way I am. So, I went ahead and got on eBay. And order a uh, brand new Ceviche Arms holster tailor made for the Taurus PT709 Slim. Now it pretty much looks identical to the other two holsters I already have. Now when I got this, of course right here is the uh, packaging that come in. Like I said I ordered it off eBay and the name of the eBay store was called Herring Holster World. And there's the package that came in. Anyhow, this thing fits nice. Fits like a glove. There we go. And you also have the uh, metal clip right here. Uh, plastic, I guess, is alright, but sometimes that can break and it's not as reliable as the metal. And here on the back side, of course, it does cover up to where the uh, top of the firearm won't rub against your skin. Now, let's see, how much room do we have here? Oh, we've got a good half inch right here from the end of the gun to the end of the holster. So you ain't got to worry about that rubbing any. Now let's get this bad boy off here. Pretty tight, it's brand new as I said. Like I said, why didn't I use the holster I have for the M&P shield? Well, the frame on the shield is just a little bit thicker. We'll go ahead and uh, let's see. Here's the Taurus holster. Try the shield in it. It's pretty snug. It's as far down in it as it'll go. And as you see, that top piece right here doesn't completely cover up the back of the slide. Put that back in here. Put this guy right there. You gotta love the smell of brand new leather. I really, you know, am pleased with these two holsters here. And I know I'll be pleased with this one here. Like I said, you know, I'm not going to use these for concealed carry. I don't plan on it, but you can never say never. So just in case I do, I'll have a holster tailor made to fit the 709 Slim. I got this for uh, $29.95. And the shipping was free, of course. Uh, I think it's a really good deal and you know I highly recommend the Ceviche Arms inside the waistband leather holsters like I said I'm very pleased with these two 
I know I'm going to be pleased with this one. Uh, you got handguns like this. You want a decent holster to put them in. In my opinion, these are better than decent. They're very comfortable. Uh, like I said, just tailor-made for this specific model of the firearm. All right. Well, this is Mark, Garage Gate 79. I hope you find this useful. And uh, use ceviche arms. You know, uh, consider them if you're looking for a good inside the waistband holster. I promise you will not be disappointed. Take care, my friends.